remember what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Juicy Smiley is back in the news and is not good. A special Cook County grand jury handed down a new indictment on Tuesday following a six-month investigation by Special Prosecutor Dan Webb. It charges Juicy with six new charges of disorderly conduct, accusing him of filing false police reports claiming he was the victim of a racist and homophobic attack last year. Family, what's going on here? I thought we were done with Juicy after he destroyed the empire. Actually, I know exactly what's going on here. This is all politically motivated. It was politically motivated when Juicy had his original charges dropped by a family friend who happens to be Cook County State Attorney Kim Fox. Well, Kim Fox didn't drop the charges. She actually recused herself from the case, making it easier for her people to drop the charges. Wink, wink. Now you have Dan Webb filing new charges because they want Kim Fox gone. And, you know, it's time for some re-election. You know, it's time for a new election. And Kim is up against a uh, former alderman, what's his name? Uh, Bob Fioretti. So, and also a couple of former prosecutors. It's all politically motivated. They want her spot. And Dan Webb, they all in it together. They want her out of there. They feel like if they can go in and get Juicy, then bam, it'll make Kim Fox look bad and it'll open up the door for them to get the victory. That's what they're banking on. But here's the deal. Juicy gave them, well actually he surrendered his $10,000 bail to the city. The city accepted it and it was supposed to be over. They didn't count on the backlash. The backlash didn't just come from Chicago. It didn't just come from Illinois. It came from all around the country because there are people out there who cannot stand the fact that a black woman used her power to give a black man a break. They're spending millions of dollars of taxpayers' money just to guard their ego. Kim Fox's opponent, Bob Fioretti, had the gall to fix his mouth to say this. I think we need to restore the integrity, transparency, and accountability of the office. And the only way that that can be done is by Kim Fox resigning now. <laughs> integrity of the office, transparency. <laughs> this is Chicago, not Norway. Chicago has been corrupt forever. This is the home of Al Capone. There is nothing that indicates integrity in regards to Chicago. Nothing, not, not law enforcement, absolutely not. It's just amazing me how some of these people fix their mouths to pretend that they're decent and that they're representing some type of decent organizational establishment. They really want Kim Fox's job. I do believe Juicy is going to do some time. Might be 60 days, six months. 
I doubt if he do more than six months. It's crazy that he had to pay that $10,000 because that $10,000 that he gave up for his bond was supposed to close the case. The city agreed on that. Now, what's interesting is that they are prosecuting him while he's countersuing the city. Does that not sound suspicious to you? You have someone that's suing the city. Think about what I'm saying. He's suing the city. And the city decides to prosecute him. Is that perhaps a chess move to make him back off? Who knows? It's Chicago. Ain't no telling what the truth is. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?